What is going on, people? It is Ares Reviews here, the Game Fan Ads, back at you with another review. Today, we're going to be talking about an episode of Back at the Barnyards, a show I've been meaning to review for a while. But before we begin, I want to give a quick little disclaimer that in no way is this rant a critique of the show. I even see much of the show, so I'm not going to judge it on the small amount of episodes I've seen. I will probably come back to the show at some point and give it more of a critique, because it does look like a genuinely interesting show to talk about. But for now, I just want to rant about this individual episode because I really don't like it. Poor character personality. In this episode, I felt like a lot of the characters were portrayed very poorly. A lot of the characters generally get one trait and stick with that for the entire episode. For example, and my main example, let's take Snotty Boy. No, I am not making this up. Look at the freaking article. Considering how I complained about Harry Beak's characters having bad names, this is getting out of hand. Show creators, get your lives together. What are you gonna name your character next? Does bad things guy? I see you met my brother does bad things guy. What? I'm done, someone else take over this review. Well, it says his first name is Eugene, so frick it, I'm just gonna call him that. In this episode, Eugene has a very lackluster and shallow personality. He's boiled down to one trait, the annoying kid, and that's his only purpose in this episode. He doesn't have any motivations for anything he does, he's not flushed out in the slightest, and he just goes around annoying people. Sure, he does get his comeuppance, that's not the argument I'm trying to make of him being a terrible villain that is evil and doesn't get his comeuppance. I'm making the point that he's an incredibly one-dimensional character with little to no personality. However, this isn't necessarily the only thing I mean when I label this point poor character personality. There are a bunch of smaller problems I have with this episode that stem from the characters. For example, at one point in this episode, all the characters turn on Otis. It's at the point in the episode where everyone is really mad about him because he made Eugene come in. However, it wasn't Otis's fault that Eugene came in. How the frick could Otis expect for Eugene to come in? You have to see through the future to predict that. Yes, Otis made the farmer go away, but he didn't make Eugene come. That's like blaming me for the murder of Dirty Dan when you have no ev- Whoa! Nobody saw that. And to round out my point about the characters having poor personalities, let's take a look at some of the chemistry. Mainly, the chemistry between Eugene and his uncle. Eugene mildly annoys his uncle in one scene. His uncle gets revenge at the end. The end. No, I know my voice right there was still more entertaining than episode of the Nutshack, but let's, let's not get distracted. The point is, the chemistry here is extremely lacking, and the episode seems to treat it like it's a lot more important than it actually is. For example, when the uncle tries to get Eugene to go to the farm. Um, this mother fricker was mildly annoying you for two seconds in one scene of the episode. That part was incredibly rushed and his actions didn't seem justified. Unnatural flow and structure. One of my biggest criticisms of this episode is almost nothing feels freaking natural. One of my biggest examples is again, Eugene. Easily not the best character in this episode. But anyways, I find a lot of his lines and his attitude in this episode to be ungodly forced and unnatural. So not only did he only get one personality trait, they always push that personality trait and joke as hard as possible. Wow, if I didn't know any better, I would almost think that I planned this point out to be right after the original one. Wow, mind shocking! Then again, it's kind of hard for me to make a sarcastic joke about being competent for once, so... Well, there goes that thing. The thing I think is unnatural about Eugene in this episode is how he's presented. He constantly pokes fun at everyone and makes his stupid laugh just for the sake of it. None of it is cleverly done or naturally done, and it's all just thrown in there with zero creativity and zero naturalness. Is naturalness even a freaking word? One example is his entire attitude inside of the barn. He keeps on repeating that the animals are stupid and stinky. Now, there's two ways to look at it. You could just look at it as part of the story, and it was necessary to make him an annoying brat. Well, you could look at it like it's just jokes and the episode did it for comedy purposes. Now, let me counter both of these points. Firstly, if the episode wanted to intentionally make him an annoying brat, the execution was done completely wrong. Rule 101, 
always make your characters annoying to the characters and not to the audience. Needless to say, I find him very annoying in this episode, and the characters don't seem to find him that annoying. Sure, they get fed up once they get glued and kicked out, but they don't have much of a reaction when he's insulting them. And as for the joke argument, while I'm not going to criticize this episode for making jokes, I will definitely criticize this episode for the execution of the jokes. See, repeating the same lines over and over completely kills all comedy. However, Eugene isn't a biggest problem with this episode's unnatural flow. He's only the smaller problem. Now let's talk about the bigger problem with this episode's flow. The biggest problem with this episode's flow is easily how the story is structured. At least half of this episode is just set up. They spend so much time setting up the commercial. They set up Eugene going to his aunt. And by the time the actual conflict arises, there's only like five minutes left to resolve it. They focus way too much on beginning exposition than actually starting the story they want to tell. And it makes the episode suffer tremendously. And I'm not talking like, oh, I stubbed my toe kind of suffering. I'm talking like this motherfucker went through Vietnam three times, fought Frieza on Planet Namek with a five minute time limit, came back, Marathon Avis Reviews Guard his content for 12 hours three hours later and finish it off with putting your pinky rings up to the moon so uh hopefully that'll give you guys a general idea one reason why i think this episode really suffers is if we look at the ending it's so rushed and unsatisfying and just boring as your generic good guys come out with a plan to win ending. There's very little creativity with it, and they keep pulling generic cartoon gags without very much variation. Also, I want to point out the context of the ending of this episode. This comes immediately after the scene of Eugene being mean to them. There's absolutely nothing between the conflict and the resolution. There's no scene of them coming up with how the plan works or working together. Heck, there's only one scene of the kid being rude to them, so there's barely any weight to this conflict. And we'll get on that in a minute. All in all, this episode has a terrible flow and structure. The first half was boring exposition that was really stretched out, and the second half was incredibly rushed. That's where the bad flow is. However, the terrible structure is when you look at it as a whole. All good stories have a good, clear beginning, middle, and end with evenly divided sections. This episode has mostly a beginning and barely a middle and an end. This interesting story. Now, let me summarize this entire point in one sentence. I just don't give a flying frick about the story! <laughs> let me, uh, regain my composure a bit there. What composure do I freaking have? I'm a stupid pinhead making YouTube videos. Firstly, as I pointed out with the ending, this episode just wasn't very creative. It's a generic episode about a character that's rude to everyone, and they have to think of a plan to make him escape. It's been done so many times, and this episode barely brings anything new to the table. On top of that, there's the weightless conflict that I talked about in the previous section of the video. If there's one thing that can completely kill an audience interest in a story, it's a weightless conflict. If there's no value or weight to the conflict of the story being told, where is the reason to care? If you know things are going to turn out alright and things become too predictable, the episode just loses all value. And for my final point about the story being disinteresting, almost nothing happens in this episode. 50% of it is beginning exposition, Eugene is mean to the characters, then the problem gets solved. Jesus amen, let there be light. If the episode is that simple, it makes me lose all interest in the story and kind of walk away from the 11 minutes feeling like I gained nothing. But that's enough criticizing for this episode, now it's time for one of the more suspenseful parts of the review. How will Ava's Reviews rewrite this episode? Well, you're about to find out how I'm gonna rewrite- What is going on people, it is Ava's Reviews here, thinking of penance, back at you with another episode of Viewer Mail! Our first letter comes from xxgamer underscore xx. He says, Go kill yourself, you stupid worthless freaking member of society. Drink bleach and cut your wrist every night before you go to bed, you stupid mother freaking god dang pinhead. Go lick a freaking cactus and get diabetes, you stupid frick. Shut the frick up and get on with the god dang video, you unfunny burnt piece of lettuce. And then the back has a bunch of racial slurs. Well, that's it for today's viewer mail. Thank you all for the wonderful things you had to say to me. Back to the scheduled program. Rewrite. So, how would I fix this episode? Well, I would have Eugene appear in this episode much earlier than he does and actually be a lot meaner. That way, the conflict has a lot of weight to it. Then, I would have the middle of the episode be spent on different creative traps that the animals keep coming up with. Heck, you can even have the episode bring up the threats of the animals being revealed to be intelligent. So, not only do you have a main conflict, 
but you have an extra threat just to add more attention. Then in the end of the episode, the characters can have one big mega trap they've been putting so much effort and work into. You could have the trap just barely work, and after that, the characters can celebrate knowing they put a lot of effort into their trap and it actually worked. Conclusion. In conclusion, I really didn't like this episode. This episode had a terrible flow to it, a lot of the humor in the characters were very forced and basic at best, and the story was just too weak to keep me interested. It's not the worst thing I've ever reviewed, but it's still pretty dang bad. And that's it for this review. Please like this video and subscribe to both this channel and my second channel linked in the description below. Please check out all my social media linked in the description, and if it's reviews, sign the frick out!